Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. Today we got Echo's followers, so we should be seeing Echo tomorrow. This shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Um, first off, I guess I want to apologize. I'm coming a little late today. I had to do some training earlier today with my job, so that took up most of the day. I'm here now and we're going to review these cards really quickly and should be back on schedule tomorrow with the Echo reveal. So hopefully you guys are all excited for the upcoming expansion and hopefully... Um, yeah, you guys got a whole bunch of deck ideas to create and to try out as soon as it hits on Wednesday. All right, so like I said, Echo's followers here, and they're all four of these cards. They they are all actual cards that can be included in the deck. No token cards here, no kind of spell or ability cards as um, have been, I guess, revealed and probably counted as individual cards, which is kind of annoying. But very interesting cards here today. Some interesting implications that we'll get into as well. So let's start here on the left-hand side with the Time Winder. We can come down here where the card is a little bit bigger. So a two-cost fast-speed spell from Piltover and Zahn. To play, discard one, deal one to an enemy or the enemy nexus, then deal one to another. So, I mean... I don't know how much we can read into this as to how how this will correlate to Echo. Um, it does have time in the name of the card, but there's a lot of implications here. So we have um, discard one. So we've got discard synergy. So not only do we have discard synergy, we have kind of burn damage synergy and then targeted spell ability kind of synergy as well. So in this one card, we could potentially have synergy with discard aggro, um, with Ezreal Draven especially. Uh, with like Jinx Draven and then potentially with Echo. So there's a lot of kind of flexibility where you can actually include this into decks. And um, this this looks to be pretty powerful. We saw um, yesterday as well in the card reveals, we got this uh, Boom Baboon, which is a two cost um, spell that's creating a Flame Chompers in hand, which is seems pretty cool synergy with the Time Winder, to be honest. Um, we could create the the um, flame chompers in hand and then can discard it and deal damage directly to the nexus or to enemies so yeah so we've got that so kind of this discard aggro with jinx and then we've got the targeted spells and abilities with like an ezreal draven deck where we're producing axes as discard fodder which is awesome we've got the um the the uh what's it called the, the robot the two cost robot I'm a little bit tired tonight, so <laughs> hopefully you know what I'm talking about. The two-cost uh, augment robot and Victor's package that creates the one-cost damage nexus in, in the Ezreal Draven deck as well, that we can use that as discard fodder and deal damage to an enemy targeted abilities and level up Ezreal faster. So a pretty cool card. Um, that deck is already pretty strong, the Ezreal Draven, and I think that this card will fit into that deck pretty easily. All right, let's go on to this next card here. The Drop Border, a one a Drop Border, like a skateboarder, I guess, a Drop Border. This is a one cost unit. If you see me in a prediction, summon me. So that's a pretty strong ability, very similar to something like Claws of the Dragon, where after you play two spells, it just comes out, right? So like this ability seems pretty strong and again several implications possibly for echo and what he'll do but this also synergizes with something like azir where we summon units um so we get some synergy with that level leveling up azir faster as well as like kind of a counterfeit copy sort of route here and and um i can't remember what the card is called the the card from freljord where you buff all of your units plus two plus two oh not all of your units but your one type of unit plus two plus two so we can kind of see some synergy with that as well and then being able to just automatically summon them seeing them in a prediction seems like it would be pretty fast um pretty pretty fast to get out these like heavy units these these big units that we could potentially buff and um yeah this is this is a pretty cool card i kind of like this not to mention we also have some synergy with with something like the green glade duo um since we're going to have some predict cards here in piltover zom we may be able to run a predict package outside of shurima so uh pretty pretty exciting and interesting one drop here one three the stat line's pretty good um it's got a lot of health for one drop so i mean it's going to be able to take blocks it cannot block into fearsome units however so just keep that in mind um okay on to this next one time trick Two cost burst speed spell. We can see Echo here in the card art. Predict, then draw one. So this is like, at least what I kind of, this is like an automatic, just kind of choose between three cards. 
that you want to draw immediately, which is pretty cool. So this could actually go a long ways as like a like a buffer for for the opponent trying to um in the game you can predict and find a card in your deck a specific card that you need in order to stop your opponent from winning say like a hush which is a pretty it's a pretty um low mana spell that you could combo together with time trick and be able to stop the, your opponent from winning the game so this is pretty big um now the predict synergy this so this is the um one of two cards here i guess that has this predict synergy all of a sudden with piltover zon there's not a lot of options for predict at the moment but we'll probably see some more tomorrow um this will be an auto include in predict decks i think just because of the low amount available in piltover zon so if you want to run this sort of predict archetype outside of sharima then you'll have to um probably include this card as well so say for example you want to kind of if echo synergizes with pike i don't know that he does and you want to be able to reliably pull pike you probably will have to run him in the predict package and then you'll have to include these predict cards all right so pretty interesting here i really like this card um now it does seem more like a tech card so maybe we'll only see it in certain metas but very interesting all the same all right let's go on to the last card here practical perfectionist this got the alliteration down. Play, predict, some more alliteration. <laughs> Create three copies of the chosen card in your deck. So really the same thing that I was talking about with the drop border. You have the potential to put down, like to, to buff certain units and then copy them and then predict them out. So pretty cool. I see the Elmex synergy with this card. It looks like they kind of want to push that sort of archetype. And again, a predict card. Um, a predict card that is now not exclusive to Sharima. So uh, again, these predicts, if you want to do that sort of archetype outside of Sharima, you're going to have to include these. All right. Um, and the stat line, I didn't even mention a 4-2, a pretty beefy stat line. Attack stat anyway for a 3-drop. Pretty much going to be able to take out any other 3-drop unit that's coming out. Um, so fairly strong here. Now, no other keywords or anything. Um, and it actually has has a pretty decent um, ability as well. So interesting, decent stats, decent stats, and decent ability here. So pretty cool all all around. Um, yeah, did I miss anything, guys? We're gonna cut it short here. I think um, just call it good and and hopefully see some more synergy with these cards with Echo tomorrow. So if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and comment what decks you could potentially see with these cards. Again, did I miss anything? Did, do you want to add anything to what I've said? How good do you think these are? I think overall these are pretty solid cards. Anyway, yep, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.